What's up everybody? This is going to be a real short video just talking about my handlebar setup. This is my 2016 CB500X. The new ones are slightly different. The difference is they have a bigger front wheel and different brakes in the front, but everything else is exactly the same. I love this bike, but there was one thing that I really hated about it when I first bought it, and that was the handlebars. The handlebars, the original ones had quite a bit of rise to them at the beginning but leveled out and the wrist was it had you tilting your wrist forward and upwards a little bit so your your pinky was kind of pointed up it wasn't really a problem going through the straights but going through the corners after just a few minutes you would definitely feel a bit of wrist pain i really like the rental fat bars on my santa cruz nomad mountain bike they're very comfortable and they just they just look cool so i decided on the rental 609 rc high fat bars so i added them to the shopping cart and i quickly realized that there wasn't enough rise in the handlebar this part is the rise the that measures how far the handle your the grip sits from the uh from the base so this one only has about like a one and a half two inch rise while the original bars had about like a, a four inch rise you know they kind of swooped up quite a bit and then leveled out so since these didn't have enough rise if they were mounted right on the normal mounting spot then you would get a tank slap whenever you do a turn it would hit either the plastic or the tank right here so to get the rental fat bars to fit i did have to buy the rocks risers these are called the rocks elite pivot risers because it attaches right here and it doesn't go all the way through so as you can see you can loosen it and cant it to whichever angle you want it to be at so with this setup that i configured you do not need longer cables so that's a huge thing a lot of times when you add length you're, you just don't have enough room for cables when you do a turn all the way. As, the, as you can see, the cables not being pulled, everything works just fine. I also did not have to reroute them, so that's a huge plus. That saves you quite a bit of time. And to top it all off, I threw on the rental, or sorry, the Pro Taper pillow top grips. These are very comfortable. They grip well on bare skin and with gloves, and they actually do dampen the vibrations quite a bit compared to the stock plastic ones. The stock ones, they, they weren't really a, a rubber at all. It was more of a, a soft plastic, and you definitely just feel the vibrations. Even though this bike doesn't vibrate much, you would feel just the cracks in the road a little bit more. This does make a, quite a bit of improvement. So with this setup, you're not going to experience any rise in the overall height of the bars because like I stated earlier, these rental fat bars, they don't have the same amount of rise as the other ones. They're about two inches less rise compared to the stock bars, but the rocks risers add about two inches of height. So it ends up being pretty much the same bar height, but the, the main thing is it's a little bit wider, the bars, it's a little bit wider than the stock ones, and it doesn't give you that uncomfortable hand up feel. Your hand is fairly flat. All right, so I hope this video helps you out because I really wish somebody made this video when I was going through this process because nobody could confirm these risers and this handlebar would work well on this bike without you having to reroute or buy longer cables. So now you know the RC High and the Rocks Risers fit perfectly on the CB500X.